Hello, this is Trevor from DejaWorks. In this video, I'm going to talk about using Boolean type variables in Arduino platform in efficient way. As probably you know, Boolean type variables are the tiniest uh, variable exist. They are supposed to work bit level with one zero means true false. But when we use Boolean type variable in Arduino platform, each Boolean variable use one byte of space instead of one bit. Means if we use eight Boolean variable, it will take eight bytes of memory space. Instead, all this data can be saved in one byte of memory space. This is why I created this tutorial to show how to do this. On the right side, the modern way of using Boolean variable I've done. On the left side, same sketch with standard uh, Boolean type. We are going to compare and see how it's function. If you look at uh, left sketch, here uh, I used everything as it should be. I define it 8 boolean variable. I initialize them with false. For showing the variables, I created a serial connection. I changed two variables here and then show study of variables. Here you see uh, I print out uh, the, the value of the variables. If we run it, basically it shows the value of uh, value given. Yeah, here. Sketch without any variable. Uh, 200 byte. If I compile again, we will see 208 bytes global global variables used. Means um, I use it 8 bytes of memory space with 8 boolean. Now I switch to the right space, right sketch. Here you will see the same functionality and uh, same variables, but by using my uh, small micro definition here, which give me to use every bit individually. So I create one byte for eight bits, eight boolean. Here on the top part, uh, my definitions, um, micro functions. Here my uh, variable. I define it eight uh, boolean bits level boolean variable. Uh, I use it this prefix to to show it uh, differently from any other variables. I can use eight up to eight uh, boolean variable in one byte. I created a um, bool pack. I call it uh, pack. So for second part of uh, eight boolean variables, you can create a second pack, boolean pack two, boolean pack three. Each pack can uh, contain eight variables, eight boolean variables. To set uh, every boolean, I'm using this macro function, bb true makes this variable true this variable in this pack. So each time uh, that I want to set the variable, I have to send a pack name, variable name here. And uh, if I want to set the true, bb true or bb false, like that, same. And I also 
I can send mini uh, variable name at the same time to set all together, set them all together. And then for reading the value of the variable, I'm sending these commands bb read, pack name, and the variable name. If I run this, I have same result here, but if I look at the compiled um, memory used, yes, here gr global variable uses 201. So without any variable, this sketch takes 200 bytes, as this. And here I'm using 8 boolean, standard boolean, takes 8 bytes. Here I'm using 8 uh, boolean variable, which, is, which are working in bit, bit level. I'm changing uh, in this pack bit by bit. And this economizes uh, about 8 bits, yes. And so I have, I'm using only one byte for eight, eight boolean. So I created this code. It is available on my uh, blog too. You can find the link below. Thank you for watching.